The whole world is surrounded by bacteria, right? Little microbes floating in the air around us, in the leaf litter that is just literally all over the floor right now. It's covered in bacteria and fungi. There's a constant exposure to a rich microbial universe that the children are now getting. And they're putting them in their mouth and their nose, and that exposure is helping their immune system grow, develop, be tested, trained into a way to become stronger and more vital. born mostly sterile. Um, you come out of your mum's tummy uh, through the birth canal and you're actually covered in her microbes, the bacteria that she's acquired over a lifetime of experience. And that microbial gift includes lots of different types of bacteria which actually help promote the development of your child's immune system. I have a child diagnosed with autism and so I've always been very interested in trying to understand how bacteria may play a role in that. Children developing asthma, obesity, food allergies, autism, all of these things can actually be shaped by the kind of microbial experience you get in those first few months of life. We've divorced ourselves in our Western society from the outside world. Why were many of the children in our society suffering from conditions which weren't really prevalent in many other societies? People that weren't embracing this Western lifestyle where we live in our very comfortable homes with our air conditioning, where we keep everything very clean. We have excellent access to medical healthcare, but for some reason we have developed a lot of other diseases. What's going on there? <laughs> Dylan was diagnosed uh, with autism and started to have trouble in school and Hayden was diagnosed with a mild ADHD. Neither of my kids need any real help, you know, they, they'll, they'll survive perfectly fine on their own. They're, they're incredibly strong and very intelligent kids. But uh, there are a lot of kids out there that suffer from some of these disorders in a very extreme way and their lives are very difficult because of it. So I wanted to see if we could apply any of these new scientific understanding of how the microbes in our body affected the development of the brain and affected our behavior. I wanted to see if we could apply that science to helping children to not suffer from those conditions or maybe alleviate some of the more negative consequences. When you remove too much of the microbial experience of a child, it affects how their immune system develops. So keeping a child in a very sterile environment can actually damage their development in a way that prevents them from leading a healthy life. Luckily, my wife and I have always been avid walkers and hikers and we love being outside and we needed to feel like we were embracing the outdoors. And now we've actually have results from some of our research which shows that the more time you spend outside, the happier you are, which is quite remarkable. Being a dad is just about creating a life, instructing somebody in the way to navigate it in a way that means that you can be who you are and who you want to be.